Okay, people, on this video, we're going to talk about how to put watermarks onto your images. Um, so go straight into it then. What we'll do is we'll just open up a, an existing um, document. So what I've got here is one that I've showed on a previous video about um, merging um, information together in regards um, clone stamp tools and so on. So I've got this document in front of me and I want to put it on the web but I want to make sure that I have stamped it with a watermark of my own choosing and also probably put all of the copyright information I would want also um, on it um, which is behind the scenes. So to start with let's just make the visual appearance um, of of the watermark. Now, before I start, just to let you know that from this video, there's going to be a subsequent video about how you would do batching of watermarks, i.e. if you've got 50 images that you want to watermark in quick succession, I'll be showing you that as a separate video because that's known as um, batching and we'll, we'll get to that shortly. But let's just deal with the basics first. Let's just get a watermark onto our image. Now this will require at least probably one new layer. I would probably recommend you want two. So what I'm going to do is off to the side here, I'm going to just create a new layer straight away. Um, I'm not going to be bothered about the names here because for batching um, it's not going to be important for this particular example. So first thing we need to do is we need to get like a copyright symbol. Now you can use the alt key and type in the magic um, number to get up um, the copyright symbol or alternatively on your toolbar um, where you've got options like to draw a rectangle tool, a circle and so on, you'll have a custom shape tool so I'm going to select that and at the top on the toolbar you should now see the shape option where you can then choose whatever you want a registered symbol, a tick, whatever you want. I'm going to choose obviously copyright and then with that I just draw with the mouse on the screen holding down the shift key just to keep it in proportion a copyright symbol. So I'm going to just make it that big. Okay looks absolutely horrible. Not bothered at this stage. What we're going to do though now is we're going to just um, tidy it up and make it watermark so it's transparent. So what we do now is with that particular layer selected we go to filter and I think stylize, yes stylize, and emboss. And it will then just say, well I've got to rasterize it, which we've talked about before, which means it's changing it from a vector graphic, which is just lots of computational numbers to make the circle, through to an actual pixel based image. And lo and behold, there we are, we can see it's done this embossed section here. I'm not going to be too fussy about the height and width, you can play around with that to your heart's content. I'm just going to click on OK. And we've got a copyright symbol, but if I now just move this around the screen a little bit, let's get it onto some of the greenery, you'll see that it's just grey and horrible. Well, what we want to do is we need to change um, the layer option from being normal, which is just going to superimpose on top, we want it to bleed through. So you have all these different options down here. I, I choose vivid light, some people choose hard light, but when we do that, as you can see now, I have now got a copyright symbol which is blending in. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So there we go, you can see quite clearly how it's actually blending in with the background. Now the other option you may want to do is now you've got your watermark is you may want to um, put some text in like your website. So any chance I get to actually show you the website <coughs> which is um, http colon <coughs> pc teach dot me and just click away again just make that a little bit more in the middle and we do the same thing again so filter stylize emboss okay I'm gonna say okay again I'm quite happy with that but remember you've got to change it to something like vivid light or hard light and there we go we've now got our watermark so now rest assured you can go away and save your image and you've now got a watermark on the screen but that is not the end of the story because the other side of the story is we need to actually put in all of our copyright information which is our um, embedded information inside the file itself. So the way we get to that is from the file menu we then go to file info or alt shift control i. I love keyboard shortcuts but I think they go a little bit too far in Photoshop um, and so inside here all being well let's just move this into the recording area so you can see we've got a list of different things that we can do 
Um, so we've got these arrows. So we've got like the camera data, what camera was taken with it, um, and so on. But then on the description section, you've now got the information. So we can say it's copyrighted, copyright notice, um, oi, oh, hang on, I've got caps lock on, oi, don't steal this because it's mine. And then obviously I can put in my name and so on. And then if necessary, HTTP uh, PC teach dot me. There we go. And at which point we can just say OK. And that's now embedded that information into it. You'll notice now, can you see at the top, it's got a little copyright icon indicating that you've now put um, file information on it. And then that's it. You go ahead and save it into whatever format you want. And so very quickly, within six minutes, we've gone from a standard image to actually putting in watermarking and copyright information. Now, as I said, in the next video, what we're going to do is talk about how we can do this on Batch, because one of our subscribers has actually asked this particular question. Um, and so what we will do is we'll go step by step about how you create Batch. Um, now, for this, you're going to need Photoshop as well as Adobe Bridge. So I hope to see you in the next video. OK, thanks.